Last time we looked at how we cut window mats. This time, let's talk about how we mount prints. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. That's mm -hmm. not better in my head. I want to show you a few of the more common and basic ways that you mount a photograph into the mat. Uh, the four ways I want to show you, one is simply with a piece of linen tape. It's straightforward, um, doesn't harm the print, and it's fairly easy to do. The second way is what's called a T-hinge. That's really good if you need the edge of the print to show, uh, such as maybe a platinum print with a deckled edge on the paper, and you want every bit of it to show, as opposed to a window mat overlapping the edge. The third method is with photo corners. And then the fourth will be a dry mount. So first method is taping directly to the window mat. To do that, what I'll do is take some of this linen tape. I'll cut it in half and get two pieces. My window itself has been taped to a piece of mount board. Just line it up, um, put the tape down, and uh, fold it over. The backing board gives it support as well as an archival barrier against any sort of uh, contaminant. Take the tape, put it on the back of the paper. You do not want to put adhesive on the emulsion side. Put it on the back, put it in the mount, and line it up carefully. There we go. And then press down. over. There it is. Press it down. And that's it. So now it's mounted and it, it won't fall down. That's the most direct method. I have cheated and done that a few times, but that's not the preferred method. <clears throat> but it will work. If that's what you've got as an option, you can do that. The T-hinge is closely related. So I've lined up the print. Let's weigh it down. I'm going to cut some tape, this time a little bit more generously, and I'm going to cut that in half, and then I'm going to cut that in half again lengthwise. So I've got two narrower strips than before. So now I have four pieces. <clears throat> what I'm going to do with these is take two of them, peel the backing off of one, and I'm going to put it across another piece to create a T. Make sure you press nice and firm. It is pressure sensitive, so pressing hard makes it stick. I'm going to lay that down and do another. Same way. So T-hinge, as I said before, is really good for prints that have a decorative edge, where you want the edge of the, the print to, um, to show. So platinum print, cyanotype, something like that, where you might show the entire piece of paper uh, within the window, whereas, as opposed to this, where I've got the edge of the paper actually hidden by the window. So I want to set that aside, put that aside, and I can go ahead and pull the backing off. But I've got the adhesive up, as you can see, as it sticks to me. Open your mount. And I've got the adhesive down. I'm going to slip it under the print. 
just kind of press it down. Then you can take that tab, fold it over the cross that you made, and attach it to the print. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Be careful not to crease your print. The cross gives it support so that it doesn't just pull this tape off the back of the board. There we go. Mounted and that will now hold that up but if I wanted this to show but I didn't want my tape to show the t-hinge creates that because it's mounted to the board but we don't see any tape so a great way for deckled edge papers to be mounted okay third method i want to show you is the photo corner and those tend to come in a box like this so i've got the print centered i'm going to weigh it down there uh, are two types of these you can get the uh, paper which tend to be um, gummed and you have to moisten the adhesive. These are polypropylene. They are acid-free and archival and they are self-adhesive. So open up the mount, peel one of these off, and they're different sizes. This is the large. Um, you want to make sure you don't get too big because you don't want it to actually overlap the print so much it shows up on your or outside your window so slip it over a corner press it down so it sticks and do the same thing on this side and then I will usually put one loosely on the top corner not pressed all the way into the corner but I'll give it a little bit of space um, Prints tend to swell and shrink over time. So I'm giving it just a little bit of breathing room. All right, and that's it. That one's fairly simple. Um, I really only use the top one. So when I'm shipping, which my prints tend to be put in vertically into the crate, <clears throat> it doesn't slip out. Um, but the bottom two are doing the, all the actual work. So that works just fine. Uh, the only reason I don't use corners more often is because I tend to reuse my mats for other prints and they don't always line up and these do not like to come off. Linen tape will come off the, the mat pretty easily without damaging anything but these don't. So if you want to reuse your mats with different prints this may not be the best option but it is certainly the easiest to get them in there. For dry mounting a print, you're going to need a few extra things and a few extra steps. One, you're going to need a tacking iron. Um, it's a lot like a little bitty um, clothes iron, but it acts a little bit differently. Then you're going to need some dry mount tissue and of course a dry, dry mount press. Now tissue does come in sheets. I've got it right now in just a big roll. So I'm going to get some out. And you want to line everything up nice and tight. Get a little bit of overlap if you have to. We can trim that off. I'm going to weigh that down. It's okay that I've got a little bit big. I'm not too concerned about that at this point. And I'm really just going to trim it off uh, to start. I'll give a final trim here in a little bit. Mostly I just want to get something a little bit more workable in size. Kind of print over, line everything up fairly well on the back. 
and weigh it down. I just want to make sure I've got the tissue extending at least to the edge on all sides. It's a little past, that's okay. I really just don't want any voids. Get your iron nice and hot. It'll take a few minutes to, to get there. When the iron is hot, you want to kind of touch it too and maybe drag a little bit. Be careful not to press hard. Um, so you want to get a little bit of adhesion just so the tissue doesn't separate from the print. Yeah, that's good. Just a little bit. We don't need a big section. Now that we've got that, flip it over. Use your straight edge and razor again. And now you're going to trim the adhesive as close to the edge of the paper as you can humanly get. If you end up trimming a little bit of the paper as well, the print, that is okay. Make sure you do all four sides. What you're trying to do is prevent any adhesive from sticking to the uh, the press on the front. You don't want that. Okay, now that I've got all of that done and trimmed, we are ready to mount this to the board. So I'm going to get my mat board. And this is going to be the back of the window mat. <clears throat> Take your window mat. And this is my um, centered from the first video. So line it up with the edge of the mount. Line your print up in the window where you want it to go. And then weigh it down. Move the window out of the way. And all we're going to do is peel up the corner of the print leaving the tissue paper against the mount and I am just going to adhere the corner just so it doesn't slip on me and then I'm going to do diagonally the opposite corner same thing just the corner. Make sure I don't accidentally move my print. All right, so that is adhered. Then bring it over to your press. Make sure it's good and warm. I usually let it cycle at least twice before I do this. And make sure you have the temperature set for the type of uh, tissue that you're using. Since I'm using color mount, I want a temperature around 185 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> You'll notice I also have a couple pieces of mat board in here that are larger than the press itself. I don't want the print to actually touch the me hot metal plate. So the mat board is there to kind of buffer the temperature a little bit, spread it out, and to keep it from touching the plate and, and marring. So when you're ready, make sure everything is nice and clean. I don't want any dust on there. Open it up, slip the print between your mat board, press it down, and give it, typically with this, about 60 seconds. All right, the minute is about up. I've got some spare mat board here ready to go to put the print under to let it cool flat. So let's open it up and see how it's done. Here we go. So it is adhered. Good. Close that down. Put this underneath. And then put a book on top of it. A big heavy book. Um, 
and I'm going to let that cool flat for a couple of minutes before uh, I put the window back on top. That'll make sure that as it cools, the adhesive sets. Now that it's cooled, take your window mat, flip it upside down, just butt it up against the other, and then get yourself a couple pieces of linen tape. This is before. And tape it down. Doesn't take much. Linen tape is rather expensive. I've seen people take the entire length before. That is unnecessary. And I think kind of wasteful. Okay, I'm just going to burnish that down with my own burnisher. Make sure it's got good contact. And there we go. We've got a dry mount to print. So the advantage of a dry mount is that it is completely flat. It doesn't have any kind of ripples or waviness that all the other mounts have. And that's because it is permanently adhered every square millimeter to the board behind it. And the flatness of the board behind it determines the flatness of the print. So a four ply mat like this, pretty flat. Um, you want even more than that? And go get yourself some aluminum um, or uh, I don't know, dye bond board or anything like that. And that'll do it too. <clears throat> Um, the disadvantage of dry mount is that it is permanently adhered to the mat. So if this gets damaged, say water damage, um, dropped or anything like that, you cannot remove the print and move it to another mount. So do this judiciously. Uh, if you mess up, make sure you have spare prints because you may have to remount, uh, or rather start over with a new print because uh, you can't remount an old one. Uh, so it's fairly simple, um, but it does take a, a little bit of practice. So there you have it. You can tape it straight to the window. You can do a T-hinge uh, in order to uh, reveal the edge of the paper. You can use a photo corner or you can dry mount. Those are your four options. <clears throat> so thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep making videos for you.